Hello, my name is Denis Fyodorov and in this video I am going to tell about Russian sounds. If you try to learn the information about Russian sounds, you will be definitely confused by the amount of stuff, different classifications, explanations, rules. Well, it's because Russian sounds is an important part of phonetics, science that studies the sounds of speech how they combine, uh, stress and intonation, dividing into syllables, transcription and other stuff of that kind. That are the things that Russian children learn during their 10 years Russian course and successfully forget afterwards. And of course all that stuff will be not understandable for not a native speaker beginner and frankly you will not need most of it. But I will explain some things that you need to learn in this video. First of all, what is a sound? It is, a small, uh, it is the smallest part of the language that forms speech. So sounds cannot be divided. One of the most important moments is the difference between the letter and the sound. In basic understanding, letters are written and sounds are spoken. And letter is a sound but written down. And if you see a letter inside brackets, it means a sound. But if a letter is a sound written down, why in English and Russian there are more letters than sounds? In general, it is because this same letter, but combined with another letter, can, uh, can sound differently uh, than in original. Uh, the situation with the sounds in Russian language by nature is close to English language. But the good news is that in Russian uh, things are much easier than in English. If for English there is a saying describing sounds and letters something like we write Manchester and read Liverpool, in Russian uh, there are more straightforward and uh, understandable rules. If in English there are 44 sounds represented by 26 letters, Plus, there are situations when several letters can represent one sound. In Russian, there are 33 letters that represent 42 sounds. 10 vowel letters represent 6 vowel sounds and 21 consonant letters represent uh, 36 consonant sounds. So, you see uh, that the situation is the following. In Russian, a small amount of vowel sounds uh, goes alongside with a large amount of consonant sounds. First vowels. There are 10 vowel letters in Russian. The letters are A, O, E, I, U, U, E, Yo, U, Ya. The sounds are I, U, U, E, O, A. So, some letters have sounds, uh, some not. How is that possible? The thing is that ya, ye, yo, you are letters that are not directly represented by own sounds. And you will not find these letters in brackets in transcription. It's because these letters are represented by combinations of two sounds. Ya is ya, you is u. Yo is yo, ye is ye. It's the basic simple explanation. Well, to explain this stuff more properly and academically, um, there are three boring rules that you would not understand at all. And frankly, you have no need to. But remember that we have six vowel sounds for ten letters. The rest four letters are represented by combinations of two sounds, and they start with Y. These were the vowel sounds, and here is a tip. If you want to hear these sounds inside a word, you put them under stress. Now, consonant sounds. There are 21 consonants in Russian. B, V, G, D, Z, Z, I, K, L, M. N, P, R, S, T, F, H, C, Ч, Ш, Щ. And there are two letters that have no sound of their own. Soft sign and hard sign. And actually here is the secret why there are so many consonant sounds. Because sounds can be hard and soft. Imagine like you place a hard sign after a consonant. 
and then you put a soft sign after it. Well, those who have uh, learned the, uh, the Russian alphabet know that in each situation consonants uh, sound differently. With a hard sign after, a consonant will sound hard. With a soft sign, soft. But here is the important thing. We read most consonants by default like it has a hard sign after it. So, by default, consonants are hard. And if there is the soft sign after a consonant, it becomes soft and is read softer. Of course, I am telling uh, this stuff in a simplified way because hard and soft signs have their roles and some vowels can soften the preceding consonants. But generally, the situation is the following. And for understanding, consider that consonants are hard by default. And when we add a soft sign, they become soft. But the most attentive watchers would ask me, if it is so, why we take uh, 21 consonants and multiple by 2 because of hard and soft signs? We get 42. Why are there only 36 sounds? It's because 3 letters can uh, be only soft and 3 letters only hard. That's why we get thir uh, 36 uh, consonant sounds. 15 letters have pair sounds, uh, it means they can be both hard and soft. So we get uh, 30 sounds that are called pair sounds. Hard sounds are B, V, G, D, Z, K, L, M, N, P, R, S, T, F, H. Soft sounds are B, V, G. D, Z, K, L, M, N, P, R, S, T, F, H. Six sounds have no pairs. They can be either soft or hard by default and cannot be changed. Hard are R, SH, T, Soft are CH, SH, Y. Actually, that's all the information you need to know about sounds of Russian letters. I've tried uh, to explain it in simple words. Uh, if on some reason you need to know more, well, welcome to the wonderful and beautiful world of Russian phonetics. For others uh, who just learn Russian uh, to use it, uh, this information will be enough. Uh, thank you and bye.